Hi, I'm Lisa Box, Senior Director of Sales for Oversee.net. Oversee is one of the largest owners of domain portfolios in the world. Recently, we've seen a dramatic increase in brandable generic domain names on the secondary market. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a few methods in order to price domains on the secondary market. Once a domain is registered for the first time, it becomes property of that owner. If you want to buy a registered domain, you actually have to purchase it on the secondary market. Now, most brandable and generic domain names that have good extensions, such as the .com, the .net, or the .org, are already registered. So I'm going to walk you through a few of the criteria that establishes the value of a domain name. First, is it easy to remember? Is it hard to misspell? Are there multiple words in the actual domain? Is it short in length? What is the extension? The .com is the most valuable extension for a domain name. Is the keyword popularity high in Google rankings? These types of criteria will help set the baseline for your domain when you go into a domain negotiation. Let's review a few methods in determining the price of a domain name. First, it's very similar to real estate. Comparable sales. Just like in real estate, this method becomes more sophisticated based on the perceived value of the domain. For example, a building in downtown Manhattan is going to have more perceived value than a building in downtown Bryan, Texas. In its most basic form, you can research and find similar domain names that have sold. It's best if they're very similar, the same category, the same length, the same extension, and have similar intent. For example, autoparts.com and carparts.com are very good comparables. The second method for determining a price is by looking at the type of traffic and advertising income the domain generates. Type in traffic is where the user physically types in the domain in the address bar of their browser. Since the user has direct intent, this is often extremely high converting traffic and is therefore valuable. Also, if a domain name is parked, which is using a direct advertising fee when the domain is displayed. Each time you click on that advertisement, the domain owner gets paid. This is a good measure of not only the traffic of the domain, but the average order size of that industry, popularity, and online effectiveness of a domain and its corresponding advertising category. For example, purses.com will have very direct traffic and a high conversion for buying purses. Unlike Laugh.com, which is similar in nature, has a similar extension, but no one's buying a Laugh. So therefore, that domain is going to be used in a different way and have a different value. Once you look at the traffic and the revenue stats, a multiple of either the gross revenue or the net cash flow that's being generated by the domain is established. Again, similar to how commercial real estate is traded. Now last, the most common way people determine a price of a domain is similar to any one-of-a-kind rare asset. It's simply where the buyer and the seller agree on a price. Like any one-of-a-kind product, what may be worth $100 to one person can be also worth a million dollars to another. It's in this negotiation process that will let you determine the actual price that you are comfortable about paying and the seller is comfortable with selling. For example, if you have an existing or new business called Main Street Flowers, that domain is most likely going to have a higher value to you since you are basing the value on a business you want to build. The seller of the domain name may not have the same value, and only through a negotiation process will you actually determine the price for that name. Since all domain names are one of a kind, there's no set formula in, a, in order to determine the price. However, with a little research, you can arm yourself with good information to set the basis of a price to begin a negotiation. The one thing we do recommend is that you find an experienced broker to help guide you through this process. With their knowledge and experience, they'll be able to help you determine the best price for your domain. We've hoped you enjoyed this information and have found it useful. We appreciate you watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to visit us at moniker.com.